everyone, <laughs> my name is Stacy, and if you are new around here, this is the Oxford Fiber Festival's YouTube channel. I had to run some errands this morning. I'm being assisted this morning by my cat, Vernooners. Make sure you give a thumbs up if you also have an assistant who refuses to leave when you start a video. But I had to run some personal errands this morning and I went to the Dollar Tree and I scored for the Fiber Festival. So I wanted to do, hop on here really quick, do a quick no edit, hopefully under five minutes haul video for you and show you what I got that's fiber related and why I'm so excited to use it as for planning the 2022 Fiber Festival in Oxford, Mississippi. Well, let's get started. So the majority of this haul is books. I was not <laughs> anticipating picking up Fiber Festival books. I did pick up a few things for my son. I'm going to pull those out really quickly because um, it's all just lumped in together. But I scored so many awesome, awesome fiber books. And some of them are not specifically fiber related. So I'm going to talk to you sort of about what I'm thinking, please feel free to leave comments below because I do want the 2022 Fiber Festival in Oxford to grow and develop and be more community based. So um, not that it wasn't in the past. We always, we welcomed everyone in the past, but I'm just, I'm taking advantage of the, the shift after the 2021 pandemic festival to really grow this year and so Anyways, this is no edits. I'm talking for too long. Let me show you the goods. The first thing I picked up was this jewelry making no, um, book. It's called Make a Statement 25 Handcrafted Jewelry and Accessory Products. And I picked this up because I thought, while yes, there are definitely some like, you know, metalworks, jewelry based type things in here, there are also plenty of ways to, wait, where's my camera? There it is. To incorporate fiber. And I thought, I'm thinking that maybe I will invite some of the fiber artists from festivals past to sort of take a couple of these ideas and make it their own. So there's like bows, ribbons, um, and there's a ribbon necklace. So, you know, you could use yarn, you could use ribbon, you could use all kinds of fun things. And I thought this might be fun to look through and sort of alter for more fiber material medium in there. So that was fun. Oh, here's another one that's not really fiber related. Lenore finds a friend, a true story from Bedlam Farm. And earlier I looked up where Bedlam is, but Bedlam Farm apparently has lots of books about their dogs and their sheep. And if you have been to the Oxford Fiber Festival, you know that the sheep are a big pool, let's see, in New York, upstate New York, yeah, there they are. You know that we love to bring the sheep in for our petting zoo, and so I thought this might be a fun way to sort of talk about the dogs and the sheep that we have seen in the past at the Oxford Fiber Festival. So I brought this in, maybe I'll do a little story time. I'm gonna reach out to this farm and see what we can work out. Oh, there's my cat's butt keep going. Um, I picked up this one, Pretty Prudent Home. Oh, I do love the word prudent. The ultimate guide to creating a beautiful family home. So many of the people who come to the Oxford Fiber Festival are families and they want small bite-sized projects. Knitting a sweater is, is a wonderful um, goal is a wonderful goal. I have knitted a few myself, but that's not often <laughs> doable in a, in a family style household. So there are tons of, oh, dip dye curtains. Love it. Different uh, family friendly. Some of these are, are pretty quick and fast and easy. Bite size, darling little lunch bags. Oh, so darling. Um, patterns and ideas. I thought we might do a couple things out of here. Because, fun news guys, not only are we going to incorporate more books in the Fiber Festival 2022, but we are also launching a newsletter starting February of this month. 
here shortly, 2021, February, I will be launching a monthly newsletter where we will be talking about accessibility, practicality, community, all sorts of different ways that we are incorporating new things into the Fiber Festival. And one of them is through these small bite-sized projects. So some of these books and inspirations I will be pulling from for the newsletter. I'll also be giving these away. I bought some to give away to you guys uh, with different contests and ideas and different conversations. Um, so I'm so excited. I was so, so excited to find these. This one is Customize Your Clothes. I am very, very excited to bring in more slow clothing, customized clothing, recycled clothing, that type of clothing to the Fiber Festival in 2022. So I thought that this one would be perfect. And there's all sorts of real practical, like different embroidery stitches. I don't want to pop the spine on this book. The tote bag, because like I said, I'm going to try to give these away. Maybe we'll do some contests. Maybe we'll do some Instagram takeovers. I don't know what we're going to do, but different just ways to customize clothing you already have. Making fiber fun, making fiber accessible, making it recycled, renewable, sustainable. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Another one, guys, I told you, the jackpot. The jackpot at Dollar Tree today. So far I have one, two, three, four, five books. And we're not done yet. This one is so pretty felt. 24 stylish projects to make with felt. We had a huge, huge felting festival a few years ago. And um, oh, I'm so excited for some of these projects. I was looking through here. Yeah, these felt roses, super fun and pretty. Let's see, oh, there's little felt earrings. Again, going back to that accessory book I was just talking about, how to use fiber in jewelry, mixing those metals and fibers. Bookmarks, we'll need a couple of those because we have so many books to give away this year. Oh my goodness, this felt book, so beautiful. This is a hard cover. Let's see, this one's soft, this one's hard, this one's hard, this one's a soft book. Let's see, I think I have a couple of more. Okay, I know this one. This I think this is my last book. I'm gonna have some more stuff. Egg cozies. Oh, guys, I was raised on soft boiled eggs. My grandmother, the one who taught me to knit when I was three, um, used to make soft boiled eggs for us every weekend that we would stay at my grandparents' house. And this one just spoke to my soul. Oh, it just spoke to my soul. Oh my goodness, that feels like home. That feels like home. Oh, the bellflower, that's pretty. That's pretty. These would be great scrap busters. One thing, another thing, so we're doing the newsletter, the online digital newsletter, but I will also be launching, oh my goodness, y'all, this is definitely it. My English grandmother would be so delighted to have the Queen's Guard, the Eggy Soldier. We are, um, we're launching the online newsletter, but we are also launching a pen pal program to swap some bits and pieces throughout the year. We are not, we did not have our yarn swap, fiber swap with the 2021 festival, but that's not going to stop us in this, this year leading up to 2022. We are going to have swaps, box swaps. And I am so, so, so excited to launch that as well. But if you had scraps of things, this would be a great way and you receive them in your box. This would be a great scrap buster project along with maybe adding them to some jewelry or using tiny pieces to, where is it? Customize your clothing. Oh my goodness, guys. The plan is coming together. I'm so excited. Okay. I think I have finished the books for Fiber Festival, but I also picked up, I had intended this to be less than five minutes. My new goal is less than 10 minutes. Still no edits. I did pick up a few small fiber related items in the regular supplies. Oh, there's my cat. Can you see him? I picked up this small ball um, worsted yarn. It's just acrylic. It's just acrylic. But later today, I will be moving another video um, for my first newsletter. And I need this. I need to whip up a quick project before I make that video. So this is for that project. I picked up some of these felt hearts. There's my camera on that side. My camera is backwards today for some reason. 
some little felt heart stickers. It's Valentine's Day, guys. And if you have kids and you're trying to just start the idea of fiber and using fiber and crafting, the Dollar Tree is a great place to pick up small, inexpensive supplies um, just for funsies. I am going to put these felt hearts in some of our first swap boxes. So I'm very, very excited about that. Oh my gosh, I found a new tie-dye kit. This is just one color, green. But I thought for a dollar, this was worth trying. I have obviously, I have tie-dyed before. I, you can't tell it. But this um, coverlet is tie-dyed with navy. Um, but I was excited to try this and see if this is something I would recommend in the future or not. So I'm looking forward to that. That means I picked up two t-shirts. Now, I won't necessarily dye these t-shirts, but dollar t-shirts. I have a six-year-old. These are size seven t-shirts. I thought with the Customize Your Clothes book. He would love to customize some clothes. He is all about that life. And the very, very last thing, oh, here they are. Not super fiber related, but I thought this would be fun to sort of play off with in the future. These are little love bug pom-poms. Can you see that for Valentine's Day? He wanted something different this year for Valentine's Day because we will just be delivering Valentine's to people in our neighborhood. Um, and then we have some mailing ones that we will be mailing out. But these little love bugs are super cute. And again, thinking of busting scraps, ma making pom-poms, adding some eyeballs and some cute antlers and some feet, I thought this is an idea that I might be able to use in the future for the Fiber Festival. So I'll be using these for Valentine's Day, but I will also be storing this away in my in my brain for the future and we are at 12 minutes guys i'm sorry this ran long but it's so exciting and i really wanted to sit down and sort of have this chatty video about the the festival about what this year will look like leading up to and, and begin to introduce this idea of the box swap and the newsletter and these accessible bite-sized crafts and activities for people with with kids and not kids and anyone who loves fiber we are so, so, so excited to grow into 2022, and I cannot wait to see you on this journey. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to more of these chatty videos in the future. I will see you next time.